This is where the preparations are done right before the journey. Teams from around the world have gathered in this field in Hammamet to take part in the Tunisian Balloon Festival. But before they can take off, the crews must discuss the route and weather conditions. This is the third edition of this festival and the organizers are ecstatic about the turnout. In the first edition in 2015, we had 10 participants coming from three or four countries. In the second edition, we had 16 and 60 followers. In this edition, we consider that we have achieved a great success with 25 balloons and approximately 80 to 90 participants. Soon after the preparations end, it's time to embark. One by one, they float up into the sky. The Lithuanian crew hit a number of snacks, but begin their ascent a few minutes late. Our altitude is 150 meters. Our speed 18 kilometers per hour. We are heading north. Pilot Orimas Vengris says the event is very beautiful. He's been flying balloons for years in many different countries. He says the logistics in Tunisia are far much different from those in Europe. It seems that Technically, you can land everywhere, but not easy then to uh, find the balloon by car and to come by car to, uh, to the desert. So this is uh, the new thing for us, because in Europe, wherever we fly, there are some fields, some roads, and uh, you can always come and access uh, the balloon. The Hot Air Balloon Festival is the only one of its kind in the Maghreb region. The festival also includes a section called Magic Night with music and entertainment on the ground. Leslie Marungu, CGTN.